What's up guys, it's Travis with my bring back and I basically did this whole tutorial just now but my microphone was not plugged in so I realized that and I have to redo it real quick but what we're gonna do today is set up this in Java um, basically add the references and get a little bit of functionality going here and then um, yeah then we'll just get into it but before we start I just realized we didn't uh, give an ID to the radio group so we're gonna go into the XML layout of that tutorial 1 XML and under the radio group section as you can see there's no ID reference so we're just gonna add that real quick by typing again Android ID equals at plus um, RG for radio group and this one is gonna be the style and then what we want to do next is uh, set up an ID down here for Android ID equals at plus ID and then we're going to call this one RG for gravity or I'm sorry RG gravity for radio group that controls the gravity alright so we basically got that XML done now and we're going to go into our tutorial one Java class here so open that up and the first thing I want you guys to do is go up here and since we're working with radio groups we're going to want to use some of the methods that um, radio groups can use and one of those methods is called or I'm sorry first we're going to say implements and then we're going to say um, unchecked changed listener and that's uh, that's basically a method that can be used by the radio group um, and it's just going to check every you know it's just going to check for when a but one of the buttons within the group is changed and then it's going to do something so we want to hover over this and we go down to as you can see we can have two different imports one comes from the android.widget.radio group and one comes from the android.widget.compound button since we're working with radio groups we want to take it from this class right here the radio group class so we're going to add that import and as you can see we're getting a tutorial or an error under our tutorial one now and what's going on here is when we implement something it's kinda like extending something if you remember when we said we extends activity class basically what happens there is we can use some of the methods like on create or on pause or uh, on resume some of those methods we can use but every time we implement something we have to use the methods from this class so um, basically it's given us this error because we aren't we aren't using any of the methods from here and again we have to because it implements so if you hover over here and just hit add unimplemented methods you can see it adds this method for us called on check change and as you can see it takes in a radio group within its parameters and an ID in for its parameters and we won't set, we won't mess with this in this tutorial. We'll do, we'll set that up in our next tutorial. Uh, basically, what we want to do in this tutorial is set up some variables. And again, when we set up variables, if we set it up within our onCreate method, uh, we wouldn't be able to use it on this onCheckChange method. So we want to kind of set up a variable that can be used for this whole class. So we're going to go above the onCreate method, and we're going to just say. Um, text view and uh, text out and then we want to set up an edit text and we're going to say text in and then we're going to set up two radio groups so we're going to say radio group and we're going to call this one uh, gravity gravity G for gravity group or gangster whatever you guys prefer and then we're also going to set up um, well basically when we set up our radio groups you can do it like this as well radio group and then set up a next your next variable but uh, we don't want to do it like that we're going to just hit comma and just say style G and now we have two different variables that are of the radio group so you can just keep that in mind uh, just comma and then you can set up another variable and then comma another variable if you want um, and then we also just have to add these imports so we're going to import our text view and we're going to import uh, our edit text and also import the radio group I don't know if I did that by accident and I wasn't paying attention or what but it also might have been because I already did this tutorial 
I didn't delete that import. Um, but now what we want to do is set up these uh, these variables that actually mean something because right now they don't really mean anything. I mean this this can use something from the text view. It kind of knows that it's a text view and not like a, a cheetah or something. But uh, it's not really doing anything. It's not really well. Anyways, okay. So we're gonna set up these variables to reference our um, our XML layout. And it's going to be pretty simple. I mean, it's pretty much how we set up that button. So we're just going to say text out, and then we're going to say equal to, and again within the parentheses because we want to know that's a text view. We're going to say text view, and then find view by ID. That should look familiar. And again, it's r dot id dot, and then we look for text view change is what we called that text view. So we're going to click that, and then there we go. We kind of gave it a reference to our XML layout. And just for time, I'm going to, since I and I already did the tutorial, I just kind of copied this. Um, but again, I'll just kind of talk through everything you guys need to do. I basically set up all of our, besides that one, uh, I basically set up all those uh, to reference the XML layout. And again, it's pretty much the same thing. Since this is a text out, that's a text view object. That's what we want to um, basically put in these parentheses, and then we just say find view by ID, and the text in that is going to be our. Uh, I'll just go to it real quick. That's going to be whatever is typed in here. This is called an edit view. Um, if you guys remember when we set it up in XML, so that's the reference that is making the text in. And again, we have to say edit text within parameters, and we set it up to reference the ID edit text one since we didn't change that. And then we just set up our two radio groups again, passing in uh, or giving in parentheses a radio group, uh, not passing in. I'm sorry, but uh, and then we set the ID as those IDs we just set up at the beginning of this tutorial: R RG gravity and RG style. So that's what we did, and then the other thing we wanted to do is set up a button um, because we had a button within that within that layout. So I just kind of set that up as well. Uh, this shouldn't be too new. We're gonna hit import for the button, and we're gonna call it gen for generate because that's what we have on the on the button. It doesn't really matter what you call it, and again, reference the button generate. So basically, that's just how we set up um, those references, and now we actually want those to do something. So what we're going to do is kind of set that button up, and you guys might remember how to do this, but uh, it will become more familiar over time and the more we use buttons. But we're going to say gen, since that's what we named our button, and then we're going to say uh, set on click listener. And again, if you remember, it's new view dot on click listener. That's what it takes within its parameters. And we're just going to close that off real quick so we don't get confused where to close it off at. And basically, as you can see, this is kind of the style that uh, this would have. I mean, we could also Im implement uh, the view on click listener and uh, we could have it import this method kind of like this. But uh, for now, we're just going to keep it as is because we're kind of familiar with setting up the button like this. But again, we could have implemented and it would have been fine but uh, you know this is kind of what we're familiar with right now and this is what we're gonna roll with so th there we go and with <laughs> within this on click method this is where some of the magic is gonna happen and basically what we're, we what man I can't speak what we want our app to do is take whatever we type in here and then when we push this button you can't really see it's off the screen right now but when we push that button it's gonna take this text and it, it's going to change this text. So um, there we go. That's basically what the the app is going to do. So now let's go back into our Java 1 here. And basically all we need to do is say text out. And then say, since this is a text view, we can use some of the text view methods. So we call text, text out set text. And uh, that, again, that's just a method that we can use um, because it's a text view object. So uh, we can use those methods from the text view class. And then 
what we want within this parameters well we want whatever was in our text in our edit text um, to be that's what we want to set the text to so we're gonna say text in and then we also have a method dot uh, get text and again as you can see this is from the, the edit text class so um, basically what's happening is again it's gonna look or it's gonna set this uh, that's this text view at the bottom and what is it gonna set it to well it's gonna set it to whatever is in here again we put could put something in quotations um, and it would just print that out instead but we want to take whatever is in the edit text um, little little bracket up there and set uh, basically set that to our text view yeah that's kinda confusing but I'll put all the source code and stuff on the website again I'm um, sorry I want my roommates came, came in here so I just got a little distracted but um, basically yeah there you go that's the setup um, for basically getting and setting that text and then the next one we're gonna actually do something with the radio group buttons and those buttons to change uh, some of the layouts that we're gonna want to do but uh, there you go that's all for this tutorial sorry if it's a little confusing or distracting or boring or whatever but uh, yeah we just got that set up and I'll, I'll catch you guys next tutorial peace